Hello good people, this is Matt Fisher back with another exciting video for you guys today as always and in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to use Tor on your iPhone. So we're at our iPhone and the first thing we need to do is go into the App Store and we need to search for Onion Browser which is a, uh, oops, which is a uh, neat little name for this Tor browser. So it's gonna be this first one right here with the black and white compass. You wanna go ahead and click download. It's a free app, I already have it installed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open it. And when you first open it, it'll take some time to initialize, but then you can start going to uh, Tor, or I'm sorry, or rather Onion Domains, and you can uh, just browse the web with an anonymized IP. So just in, as an example, let's see, if this is still in my clipboard. Yep. So this will bring us to the hidden wiki. And if we didn't have this uh, browser, for example, if you were pasting this inside of Safari, we wouldn't be able to get to this web page. So it takes a second, but eventually the hidden wiki loads. And again, this is a uh, .onion domain. And then again, just to show you guys the anonymous part, or sorry, the anonymizer part of this, if we go to Google, you'll see that the Google that it corrects that it connects me to is a random Google. So in this case, it's .co.uk. It's not .com, for example. So it right now it thinks I'm somewhere in the UK, and that's why it's giving me this version of Google as opposed to the US version. Now, with this browser, much like the desktop version, you can get a little funky and uh, do some customization with it. Not as much as you normally could on the desktop version, but still a couple of additional settings. Now, if you wanted to refresh your IP or get a new anonymized IP, all you have to do is click that favorites button or that extra tool section, click new identity, and it'll tell you that it's clearing your cache and cookies and your browser history. And if you really wanted to be sure, you could just force quit the app and reopen it back up and that'll start the initializing process all over again. So then you can be assured that you maintain your anonymized IP while using the Tor browser. But it's really that simple, guys. I'll have a link to this app in the description down below. But again, you can also find it in the App Store just by searching Onion Browser, and it'll be the first result. But that is the video that I have for you guys today. If you get stuck in any step, just drop me a comment down below, and I'll do my best to help you guys out. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, then go ahead and click on that subscribe button. But on that, guys, enjoy the rest of your day, and take care.